Orifal Kleber Technik GmbH, a medium-sized producer of graphic products and adhesive tape systems, with its head office in Oranienburg near Berlin, has been a successful player in world markets for over 10 years. Our state-of-the-art computer-controlled coating and conversion processes, in conjunction with our ISO 9001 quality system, ensure our Orifal self-adhesive products are widely acknowledged as being of the highest quality available on the world markets. The breathtaking development of digital printing technology sets new and higher demands on the quality of printing media and Orojet 3951, one of Orofol's products, is a digitally printable cast material whose quality meets these most exacting demands by offering outstanding weathering resistance, unsurpassed dimensional stability and excellent conformability even when applied over corrugations and rivets. This digital printing cast vinyl offers every graphics designer a wide spectrum of design opportunities and the product is indispensable in the drive to meet individual customer requests. The following movie clip shows tips and information for complete car wrapping with Orojet 3951 and the matching protective laminate Orogard 290. The graphic design agreed with the customer is printed on a suitable digital printing machine and then, after the required print drying time, laminated with a protective film. The car should be cleaned, then well rinsed to remove all soap and polish residues and then finally dried. The vehicle should be left with the design contractor the day before application of the vinyls in order for this preparation to be carried out. The vinyls have to be applied in a clean, dust-free and well-lit room at a temperature of 21 to 23 degrees C. Any parts of the vehicle not to be wrapped, such as door handles, trim, rear window wipers, antennas, or wiping water nozzles, must be removed. An appropriate basic toolkit should be available to do this. The tools needed for application include a squeegee with felt edge for plastic vinyls, paper scissors, a cutsit, crepe tape, a temperature adjustable hot air gun, cotton gloves, lint-free cloths, and isopropanol, IPA as a cleaning agent. Surfaces and edges have to be thoroughly checked for residues of protective wax or polish. Where such substances are detected, they have to be removed with industrial cleaning agents or silicone remover. Special attention should be paid to the places where the removed car parts have been fixed. Finally, all clean surfaces have to be thoroughly cleaned with isopropanol and a lint-free cloth. Any potential residual humidity, especially underneath rubber seals, has to be removed with compressed air and the surfaces allowed to dry. After aligning the vinyl with release liner still in place and placing it on the car, and after feeling for the vehicle contours, the vinyl is now roughly cut to shape. When doing this, the vinyl should be held away from the vehicle to avoid damage to the paint surface. After one third of the vinyl has been folded over and the silicone paper removed and cut off, the vinyl is put onto the vehicle with some light tension applied. If possible, one should begin on a large straight surface, such as here at the rear wing, to have a safe starting point for the following application steps. With some slight tension, the vinyl is now brought down onto the paint surface without stretching the material to avoid distortion of the motif. Now, the vinyl is smoothed out with the squeegee in large, even sweeps from the centre to the outer edges to remove the air bubbles. Where the vinyl is to be applied around parts of the vehicle that could not be removed, the vinyl is cut free. The width of vinyl is then folded over, working from the left side to the right, and a further third of the silicone paper is pulled away and cut off. The vinyl width is then, carefully and with slight tension, laid across the vehicle and evenly pressed into place with the squeegee at curved and rounded places, as described for the preceding steps. Preheating the vinyl in large sections at 50 to 60 degrees C and generous squeegee movements are necessary to avoid tensions inside the vinyl. Special attention should be paid to avoiding overstretching of the vinyl by pulling too strongly. 
The vinyl is pulled downwards to be applied to the vehicle with slight tension and then smoothed out in even movements with a squeegee, working from the center outwards. On the sill, the vinyl is heated in large sections with the hot air gun, then pulled slightly downwards and attached carefully. By alternately applying hot air and smoothing out the vinyl with the squeegee, the vinyl is now applied, using hand and finger pressure with the assistance of hot air, to the concave and rebated areas of the vehicle. Now, the protective paper is pulled off the last third of the vinyl width, and the vinyl is aligned and firmly placed on the vehicle. The vinyl is preheated in large sections and, beginning at the straight edge, smoothed out evenly with the squeegee from the center outwards. Only after the vinyl has cooled down to room temperature may unwanted parts of the vinyl be cut off. Pointed and sharp blades should be used to do this. Never cut right on the paintwork. The knife can be leaned against edges of existing gaps, for example, the edge of the hood or the door edges. The cut edges are then folded to the inside with a glove while applying hot air. It's very important to remember that air at very hot temperatures, approximately 180 degrees C, has to be applied carefully to all outer edges of the vinyl to release tension in the vinyl and accelerate the activation of the adhesive. Great care is required when dealing with preparation of the bottom part of the sill, as it's exposed to particularly heavy soiling, such as street dirt, or tar or de-icing salt deposits. The recessed grips are heated slightly and the vinyl smoothed into them by hand. This difficult operation may also be performed with a calendered Orofol vinyl. After the vinyl has cooled down, the holes for the smaller car parts can be cut out carefully and the vinyl applied to the hollows with the help of hot air. The hot air assisted application of all other cut edges also has to be performed with great care. The vinyl is then positioned centrically on the hood and cut free with some margin being left. The first step is to mark the center of the windscreen with crepe tape. The vinyl is turned over and the protective paper removed from the middle. After renewed turning, it's placed on the hood and applied with the squeegee in the middle where the paper was removed. The vinyl is folded from left to right and, after removing the silicone paper, positioned under slight tension to then be smoothed out with the squeegee from the middle outwards. This is repeated with the other half. After applying hot air over large sections of the vinyl, the vinyl is carefully placed onto the hood and smoothed out with the squeegee. After the vinyl has cooled down, the unwanted parts of the vinyl can again be cut off. Once again, please ensure that all cut edges and vinyl ends have been folded to the inside. The edges require some additional application of very hot air and need to be pressed down firmly. Applying vinyls to the spoiler requires the same procedure as on the hood. That is, central alignment, putting them into place, removing the silicone paper, Again, hot air is blown against the vinyl in large sweeps. The vinyl is fastened to the spoiler with slight tension and smoothed from the inside outwards with the squeegee. It's recommended to look for flat surfaces and smooth the vinyl outwards from the middle, always after preheating it with a hot air gun. In this way, the vinyl is applied step by step to fit the vehicle's shape. Unwanted vinyl surfaces have to be cut off, bearing in mind the aforementioned procedure. The large concave surfaces of the spoiler have to be cut free. Now, the remaining vinyl is gradually applied, with the hot air gun and squeegee used alternately. The procedures to apply the vinyl to the car roof are identical with those for the hood. Again, it's of special importance to treat the cut edges with very hot air. The approach to vinyl application to the rear spoiler is the same as for the front spoiler. Preheating of the vinyl in broad brushes and its even smoothing out from the middle outwards with a squeegee are again the most important operations. 
edges always need to be well heated and pressed on firmly. Now, the remaining vinyl is gradually applied, with the hot air gun and squeegee used alternately. Once again, please ensure that all cut edges and vinyl ends have been folded to the inside. Utmost care should be exercised in cutting the vinyl free and working it in at the fuel tank lid. Here, special care is needed in applying hot air to the vinyl as it must be bonded very firmly to prevent fuel from getting to the adhesive surfaces and detaching them. When applying vinyls to an outside mirror, a vinyl should be cut with some margin remaining, the protective paper removed, the vinyl placed on the mirror and heated in large sections. Then, the vinyl is pulled with some tension and firmly applied with a squeegee. This operation is repeated several times until the mirror is completely wrapped. Now, the remaining vinyl is carefully cut off. Again, it's important to always work from gaps. Never cut right on the paintwork. It's essential to preheat the cut edge and work it in. Small parts of the vehicle, such as door handles, are also dealt with on the basis of the above described procedures. Once again, when cutting, attention should be paid to avoid cutting right on the paintwork. The final step is to remount all the small car parts which were removed at the beginning. The vehicle can now be returned to the customer. At this point, it's important to explain the relevant aftercare instructions to them. The wrapped vehicle may be washed without any problems in a car wash after approximately three days. The wrapping can be treated with a polish for plastic surfaces after three weeks at the earliest. No high pressure cleaning or caustic chemicals should be used on the car. For further care instructions and information on the quality Orifal products, visit us on the internet at orifal.com.